amusement parks, playgrounds, and other family activities closed or restricted this year, pumpkin patches seem to be growing in popularity. But are some of these attractions properly operating under the reopening guidelines? We took a look at a few locations to figure out what's allowed and what's not. This is cell phone video taken this week of the pumpkin station on Camino del Rio South in Mission Valley. Lots of people and some not wearing masks, and there are several small rides operating. This is the same location during the day Thursday. ABC 10 News reached out to the owner, who didn't want to talk on camera, but says they have a capacity limit of 250 people, require employees to undergo temperature checks, and wear face masks. But he says they can't make customers wear face masks if they don't want to. As for the rides, he says he tried to contact the San Diego County Health Department about what was allowed, but never heard back. He says the rides are sanitized between each use. When ABC 10 News contacted the county, we were referred to these state guidelines for amusement and theme parks, which say all operations must be closed in the red and purple tiers. San Diego is still in the purple. As for other spots, like the strawberry fields in Carlsbad, there aren't rides, but there are inflatables. The owner of the company who operates them, Carlsbad Lagoon, didn't want to speak on camera either, but said they've been working with the county since they reopened. There's no specific state guidelines for inflatables, but a county spokesperson says as long as it's not completely enclosed, think slides and obstacle courses, it's allowed. I love pumpkin. As for sanitation, Carlsbad Lagoon says they sanitize frequently and restrict admission to adhere to social distancing guidelines. Now the pumpkin station says they're only open for two more days. The county did say they would refer the situation to enforcement.